In today's video, I want to teach you a very easy trading strategy that is suitable for scalping and day trading. Right now, we are on 15 minutes time frame and we can use this trading strategy on time frames from 1 minute to 1 hour. This is the price chart of USD CAD, but no limitation on this and you can use this trading strategy on any other asset or market, whether it's Forex, Crypto or Stocks. The only requirement in terms of the asset or market is trading volume and liquidity because this is a scalping or day trading strategy and the profit and loss that we're going to take are small in terms of price movement so we don't want to experience any unreal price gap or large spread between bid and ask prices that can damage our trade entry stop loss and profit for this trading strategy we need to add two exponential moving averages to our chart here we click on indicators and we search ribbon we add this one which is a built-in indicator on trading view platform then we go to add settings to adjust our moving averages first we remove two of them because as i said we need two exponential moving averages so here we change them to EMA one of them should be with length of 9 and the other with length of 30 for the shorter moving average we change the color to red and for the longer moving average we change the color to blue all right we're done with the moving averages and let's see how we trade based on this intraday trading strategy unlike other moving average based trading strategies that use crossovers of moving averages for trading signals here in this trading strategy we focus on trading on the pullbacks and entering in the current trend of the market in this trading strategy we're going to take advantage of the area between our two moving averages this red line is EMA with length of 9 and this blue line is EMA with length of 30 and our focus is on the times that the price goes to the area between them which can provide us a trading opportunity to enter in the pullbacks as I said this is a trend following strategy and we want to enter in the pullbacks this strategy doesn't work when the market is not trending and the price is in a trading range we use this trading strategy only when the market is trending so the first step is to find out if the market is trending or not trending there are different methods that can help you on this like using price action analysis to identify trends or using some indicators like ADX this one average directional index that can help you to know if the market is trending or not trending if you have worked with this indicator so you know that when ADX is above 20 it shows that the market is trending and when ADX line goes below 20 it shows that the market is not trending the most effective way is price action analysis to know when we have formation of a trend and when the structure of the trend is broken but ADX is also a good choice that you can use it in this trading strategy. Besides using price action analysis or ADX, these two moving average lines also help us to know about trends and strength of trends. When the 9 period EMA is above the 30 period EMA, the price is advancing and it's actually a bullish trend. The area between the two moving averages and also the angle of the moving moving averages will help us to evaluate the strength of trends. The bigger the area between them and the steeper the angles of the moving averages, the stronger is the trend. And when the area becomes smaller and the moving averages become flat like this part, it shows that the trend is weakening and the market went to a trading range. And when the 9 EMA goes below the 30 EMA, it shows declining of the price and probably formation of a downtrend. But it's not always the case and in times that the market is flat, we just have cross of these moving averages and this can happen repeatedly as you can see without establishing any trend in times that the market is not trending like here you can see that the two moving averages are very close to each other and we don't have any considerable angle up or down and they move flat as you can see but in other times when the market is trending they are far from each other and they have an angle up or down all right so when we know that the market is probably trending whether by the help of price action analysis or by the help of these two moving moving average lines or by the help of ADX to know if the market is not flat then we must wait for a pullback the first condition is that 9 EMA should be above the EMA with length of 30 and there should be a space between them and then we wait for a candle that is closed below the EMA with length of 9 which happened here as you can see this candle is our trigger candle and it must be above this EMA EMA with length of 30 if we get a candle closed below this EMA the setup is not 
not valid anymore because the trend is in danger of reversal or going to range market. Then we must wait until the price closes above the high of our trigger candle. This candle couldn't close above the high of trigger candle but this candle as you can see closed above the high of our trigger candle. Or if you're an aggressive trader you can enter a trade when the price passes the high of the trigger candle. But a safer option is to wait until we get a candle that is closed above the high of the trigger candle. And please pay attention that this closing candle should be a strong candle showing buying pressure. In other words the closing price should be near to the high of the candle. So this trade is confirmed and we can enter a long position here as this new candle is opened. The stop loss for this trade is placed below the low of the closing candle or below the red EMA if the red EMA is lower than the closing candle. So our stop loss is placed here below the low of the trigger candle and for take profit order you can set it at the level that makes risk to reward ratio equals 1.5. If you want to stay longer in your position and ride on the trend and get the most out of your position you can close your position when you get a candle closed below the long moving average line. This blue line which is an EMA with length of 30. One good strategy for this is after every pullback you can move your stop loss higher below the EMA 30 this blue line so you can lock in your profits. All right after this trade that we entered here we got another opportunity forming here. As you can see we got a candle closed below the red EMA and this is our trigger candle so we must wait until we get a candle that is closed above the high of our trigger candle which happened here. So we could enter a long position here as this new candle was opened. The stop loss for this trade is placed below the red EMA because it's uh, lower than the low of our closing candle and this trade is also a profitable trade as you can see. Another opportunity we got here where this candle closed below the red EMA and then we got this candle which is closed above the high of our trigger candle. So it's a confirmed trading signal and we could enter a long position here as this new candle was opened. The stop loss for this trade is placed below the low of the trigger candle and this trade is also a profitable trade. But in practice it's better not to enter this trade because we are in an established trend with some swing highs and here you can see that the moving average are getting closer to each other and this shows that the upside momentum is weakening and this uptrend is losing strength and you can see how the price went to a trading range after that starting from here you can see that we get a candle below the longer moving average the blue EMA again another one here which closed on the other side and you can see that the price is just going above and below the EMA 30 and this is happening repeatedly in a very short time actually from here not having the continuation of our uptrend structure the market went to a trading range as you can see. The ADX is also showing us that from here the market is not trending because it's below 20. So we stop trading and we wait until the market establishes a new trend. As I said this is a trend following strategy and it doesn't work when the market is not trending. All right, to show you an example of short position signal, the first condition is that red EMA should be below the blue EMA and there should be a space between them. And then we wait for a candle that is closed above the red EMA. This is our trigger candle and we should wait until we get a candle that is closed below the low of our trigger candle, which happened here as you can see. And this closing candle should be a strong candle, meaning the closing price should be near to low. So this trade is confirmed and we can enter a short position here as this new candle was opened. And as you can see, this was a profitable trade where the price declined down to this point. Here, the price again goes for another pullback, but this time it broke our long EMA. So we don't take this as a pullback during this downtrend because this can give us the signal that the trend is changing to an uptrend or trading range. All right, this trading strategy by combining price action and two moving averages and being a trend following strategy, it's a very low risk trading strategy that can make you consistent profit, but you need to manage your risk properly so you can protect your trading account because losing trades are always part of the game no matter how accurate is the trading strategy or how much experience you have in trading. There is a risk management strategy that is called 1% rule and it's one of the best strategies for scalping and day trading. I have a complete guide on this. The link is also placed in the description and I highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot become a successful trader. All right that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading